It is time to check in with our Meta Ads correspondent, Andrew Foxwell. Andrew is a veteran Meta Ads buyer and has visibility into $300 million in Meta Ads spend through his Slack community called Foxwell Founders. Andrew, I see Advantage Plus shopping campaigns are changing again. Um, as far as I can tell, the UI is sort of like a like a standard ABO setup, but now you cannot exclude existing customers. Um you also don't appear to be able to add caps. What is happening? Yeah, it's interesting. It's a brand new rollout. And like as of today um, is what we're seeing. So, you know, basically you have to set your engaged audience in, in, in addition to your existing customer audience, like you've already done for ASCs. And so you have to, the engaged audience is what you're essentially like, what you're trying to exclude Um, so it's a very, you know, it's a very weird setup. So they're trying, I think, to change basically the ability for you not to be able to exclude as much as you used to be able to. Um, this feels like a real step back since what they, I had been hearing was there was going to be more features added on to ASCs to make them more like, um, a normal campaign. And it seems like now, we're losing out on um, potentially exclusions. We're losing out on potentially even bid caps. Um, so that you you can't, I can't tell yet, honestly, is if this is happening to everyone now and this is the way it is moving forward or if this is a test in the US. This is so new that I haven't been able to figure that out. So it seems to be that um, this is causing quite a bit of destabilization. Um, certainly yeah. ASCs have been a real push for most folks, have been where the majority of the spend is going and traffic. Um, I just saw another report where basically the traffic quality is like peaks and valleys um, from a guy who's spending about 15 K a day. So, uh, and he had 80% of his spend going into an ASC. So when these things destabilize, it creating a ton of issues in the ecosystem. I don't really know what's going on with this at this moment in time, other than trying to rebuild, trying to potentially try other campaign containers as we have them, right? Like a, like a normal CBO or an ABO um, to try to move away as these are just don't seem to be what's delivering the, you know, the the best traffic at this moment in time or the most consistent traffic. I mean, you have, you know, contacts inside meta at fairly senior levels. What is, what is their thinking there? Like, do they sit around the table and say, you know, what marketers really need is the ability to exclude is the ability uh, is that we'll we'll take away their ability to target existing customers. That's what they really need. Like, obviously, in a shopping campaign, if you're trying to sell a particular product, you want to exclude people who have bought that product. What's in their head at Meta? Do they think that this is a good idea, or are they just so drunk on AI that all of this other stuff just kind of gets pushed to the side? I think a lot of the project managers that work or product managers that work on these particular pieces are working on only one piece. So they'll be a product manager on ASC audiences or on ASC, you know, ad serving. It's not, these things aren't connected. So I I have a feeling that there's pieces of this, that the UI has changed and they have eliminated, you know, at this point, exclusions that wasn't told to the rest of the ASC team. And now it's likely that the campaign or the account managers for Meta are scrambling. I mean, I, as far as I've heard, that's the case. They don't seem to have any answers. So I think a lot of them is that there's different people working on different pieces of this and they're not necessarily cohesively talking to one another, which is a, obviously a major issue. Yeah. Um, so it's been really challenging. I mean, the months of the month of June has been really challenging from a traffic standpoint because of this destabilization and within ASCs across most of the Western world. Honestly, have you heard about this um, random discount code thing? I don't know if it's a bug or something where discount codes are just being kind of like randomly turned on and put on ad creative, even though there actually is no discount code. Are, are yeah. you hearing this? Yes, this is a bug. Um, it's Supposedly has to do with generative AI. Um, we, uh, you know, I heard about, I mean, this has been happening to community members for a while. Um, no, there are certain places you can turn most of this stuff off, but then there, even if you have everything turned off within the commerce manager, it still turn, it still seems to come back on mm-hmm. um, or they're showing codes that you never 
agreed to um, for 20% off, things like that. So um, this one is a bug. It has been um, confirmed by reps as a bug, um, but they aren't, they don't, it takes a little bit for them to admit that it's a bug. In some cases they say, oh, did you turn off these, all these options? Yeah. So Have that is something your budget. <laughs> yeah. If that is something that if you've experienced that, that is, that is not supposed to be happening, um, where, uh, it'll give a 20% off code or something to, to, um, an advert or a, a potential customer. The, and what happens, by the way, with that 20% code? Does it actually, like, I guess it doesn't work because it, it doesn't go through to your back No, end. sometimes actually it works. Oh, um, yeah, because it's actually on the shop itself. So because right. you're allowing the shop experience, it actually does work, which is a, obviously, obviously an issue. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It's kind of like an intern gets drunk and just starts, you know, taking the, the price yeah. label sticker a little too much. Um, yes. Before you go, I want to talk a bit about Meta Web and shops. Like, some there's some traffic problems. Uh, we were chatting just beforehand about this. Um, what have you noticed there? Yeah, this is a real issue. There was a lot of um, uh, places that I would say are you know uh, sending traffic to a shop and to the site itself. And there was a lot of uh, people and advertisers that were having a decent amount of traffic going right into shops. Um, and that is now. Um, that sh seemed to shift, uh, that, you know, 90% of the traffic was going into sh to, to shops. Um, and then it seemed it's around, you know, somewhere in the middle of the month that's flipped back entirely. Um, the month of, uh, of, of, of June, um, this flipped back entirely and now it's going to, there's no shops. And so those that don't have the shop traffic, um, seem to be really stirred that did and no longer do seem to be struggling. Um, and so this this is happening. Meta hasn't confirmed this is an, is an issue. Um, there's no, I mean, we can show Meta like, hey, this is happening numbers wise. You can see, um, but you can't actually see technically the breakdown of shops traffic. Um, you have to set up a custom calculation. And if you have a custom calculation to do that, um, which is like unique clicks versus unique outbound clicks, um, you can look at that and find out, but it, it, it's essentially, that is a big, I think, contributor to as well, the traffic quality that's been coming. So, um, I don't really know what to do about this one either. Honestly, I, we don't have any control over it. Um, hopefully this continues to, to stabilize, <laughs> um, and <laughs> continues to, uh, to come back into line, but it's been a pretty tough month, I think, because of all these pieces, the ASC issue, having it. You know, the ASC serving issue having problems, the shops issue having problems, and the ability for more control being removed from us. It's just very difficult to have any hands on the lever that can even stop, you know, to try to force it to do something you don't want it to do necessarily right at this moment in time. So trying to kind of honestly troubleshoot it as we speak. Well, Andrew, I look forward to having you back in a week where we will be discussing how they had fixed all of the problems and there are no more bugs with the platform and everything is hunky-dory. I hope so. I really do. <laughs> I hope it's better. Andrew Foxwell is our Meta Ads correspondent. You can learn more about Andrew's digital ads training at todayindigital.com slash Foxwell or his Slack community of senior Meta Ad buyers at todayindigital.com slash founders. Both of those are affiliate links and you can find those links at the bottom of our show notes.